Good afternoon. This is the Apostle out of Zurich. If it's your first time on my channel, do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And to my followers, the Lord be with you. Good morning to the Loop News. NIDS ruling on Friday will be streamed live. That's the headline. Let me get down into the details. The long-awaited ruling on the constitu constitutional of some aspect of the controversial National Identification and Registration, NIDS, that's NIDS, HAC, will be handed down in the full court on Friday, April the 12th, and will be streamed live. That's tomorrow. This was announced on Wednesday by the Court Management Service, the CMS, in a press release. According to the CMS, the Constitutional Court will deliver its verdict in the case brought by the General Secretary of the Opposition People's National Party, PMP, Julian Robinson. Attorney General Marlene Mahalu Fort is the defendant in the matter. The, the, juridic, the juridical of Jamaica is cognizant of the high level of interest in the matter by Jamaicans' domicile locally and in the diaspora. In light of the immense public interest in the case, and the limitations in the seating capacity in the courtroom. The audio of the proceeding will be, li will be streamed live, the CMS said in its release. Persons waiting to hear the live verdict may connect to the following websites. The website follows is uh, www.supremecourt.gov.jhem or www.cms.gov.jm and www.parishcourt.gov.jm. Robinson brought the case against the government on behalf of himself, his constituency, and the PMP. He alleged that the NID Act abrogate, abridged, and infringed particular rights outlined in the constitutions of Jamaica. The full court panel comprised Chief Justice Brian Sparks, or Skypes, Justice David Bratt, and Le Justice Lisa Palmer Hamilton. Heard sub submission from the parties for um, October 22nd to 24th of 2018. The Attorney General was forced on the back foot over the three years of hearing as she struggled to make her case before the panel of judges that particular aspect of the needs were not unconstitutional. The controversial law will make it mandatory for all Jamaicans to register, be fingerprinted, and even state their blood types or face the huge risk of fines and custodial sentences if they fail to do so. The NIDS is also replaced, will, will also replace several pieces of identification now used by Jamaicans. Persons not registered under the NID will be unable to access certain government service. The lead attorney for, attorney for the PMP is Queen's Council Michael Hamilton, or Il Michael Hilton, told the Constitutional Court that the NID breach eight of the 25 fundamental rights, which, which are contained in the chapter of the rights, including the right to privacy. For his part, the Chief Justice stated that if a person rights to refuse is denied, the government run the risk of institution instituting a total literian regime on the donid i don't know if um if it's the same system like what they have here in zurich but here 
you're think you're always fingerprinted on a fact where I can say because when one has a when you go to um to apply for a passport, you are fingerprinted in the passport office, not outside. You have to take the passport pictures inside the passport office, not outside. According to the law here, I'm not saying, I'm not bringing down my Jamaican people and I'm not bringing down the government in this sense. But according to laws, I believe that everybody should be fingerprinted. When we look at what's happening on the island of Jamaica over the recent years, we realize that evil lawmen were getting away with criminal activities. Parliamentarians the same way. And so is our general public. I don't have a problem with fingerprinting because if you decided to travel and pre-say your destination is America, you're going to have to be fingerprinted and even eye-printed to go through in America. So what is the difference if you do it in your own island? That means you get accustomed to doing it when you go abroad. Don't wait till we get abroad before we said, oh, we do this abroad, but we don't do this in our, in our country. We have too many levels of criminality going on down in Jamaica. I don't know the same thing they want to try to prevent in Jamaica, but let me say that's what they're trying to prevent. Why is the People's National Party spokesman or the laws or whatever are trying to bring down the NAID? Explain to the general public, because many Jamaicans, unlike myself, I've never seen the Jamaica um, constitutional book. And I heard that America have one. The land that I live in has one. So why don't we have one? If we have a freedom of speech, and which we surely don't want to say that we don't have a freedom of speech, but we don't have a freedom to kill. We don't have a freedom to steal. We don't have a freedom to deprive another one of his privacy. And if the need can do something with this identification to let the general public in Jamaica know that we cannot go around doing the stuff that we keep on doing, I 100% agree. That's just my view on this. My viewers and subscribers love to hear your views. Maybe I didn't call all the word properly because in the English language, so I haven't been in the English language for many years, but I try my best, the best I can. This is the Apostle of this group. I'm not apologizing. Just trying to let you know that genuinity is not something you can make. And being genuine is what I'm here for. Shalom.